Hi everyone, it's me. So today we are talking about 26 weird facts about Florida. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian who um, has spent a lot of time in Florida growing up. My parents have a house here, this house actually. So I thought it would be fun to share weird facts about Florida and then I thought maybe we talk about you know some of the stereotypes of this particular very strange state. I have a lot of British viewers and some of you guys have been saying, we want to know more about Florida. What's it like? Tell us things about Florida. And I'm saying, okay, here's this video. So without further ado, let's go. Now, your girl needs glasses, but I don't wear glasses in my videos because I get weird reflections. So I'm going to read these like this close to my face because otherwise I can't read them. Now you know. I think maybe I should scoot over here. If I sit here, I can't tell if this is in focus. If I sit here, we'll put up some weird facts about Florida and let's begin. The Walt Disney World Resort is in Florida. It is the planet's most visited and biggest recreational resort. It was established in 1971 and is about the same size as San Francisco, California. NASA's first communication satellite, Echo 1, was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida in 1960. It was a metallicized balloon satellite acting as a passive ref blah 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 blah, let's skip that bit. Florida is also known for the establishment of the first commercial space launching industry in the United States. Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon, was launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida in July 1969. A lot of space history for anybody interested in that stuff. There's a lot here in Florida. The Kennedy Space Center itself is really cool and you can actually go out and you can see the launch pads and stuff. I really recommend it. How about strange Florida animals? <laughs> Goliath, considered being the largest tortoise that ever lived, reside at the Life Fellowship Bird Sanctuary in Sefner, Florida. Don't know how to pronounce that. Sefner. He died in 2002. How sad. But he weighed 417 kilograms. 417 kilograms. A tortoise in Florida. The U.S. state of Florida is home to the world's most dangerous tree, the ma manchineel. That's not right. All parts of the tree contain strong toxins. Mere contact with the sap from this tree can cause blisters on the skin. Fabulous. In August 2014, a gathering of 1,000 394 people came together at the Nickelodeon Suites Resort in Orlando, Florida. Guinness was more than happy to include these enthusiasts in the list of record holders as to this day. It is the largest gathering of people in the world dressed as Ninja Turtles. That's right, Florida is known for its Guinness World Book Records whatever of people dressed like Ninja Turtles. Because of course, before the arrival of the Europeans in Florida, Native American tribes have been living in the region for several thousand years. We can all guess how that turned out. Between 1763 and 1783, Florida was ruled by the British. Formally, Florida became part of the US in 1821, which is really not that long ago. I think we're on number eight. I don't know if I should be numbering these because I always get the numbers wrong. Anywho, this I think is number eight. Florida has the second longest coastline. Only Alaska has a longer coastline. It is the only state that borders both the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. A little bit of geography for you. Hope you enjoyed that one. Central Florida is known as the lightning capital of the United States because the region experienced more lightning strikes than anywhere else in the country. Number 10, if this is actually number 10, I'm not sure. My numbering videos never turn out well. I always miss a number, real sorry. I think this is number 10 and it's not surprising. Florida has the highest percentage of people over 65. Yes, you go anywhere, you go out to dinner, they're all older than you. The restaurant I was at the other night, I was the youngest person in there. I swear to God, youngest person in that whole place. There is no personal income tax in Florida. 
St. Augustine is the oldest continuously settled city in the United States. It is situated on a peninsula between two saltwater rivers and was founded in 1565. Some of the pubs I like in England are older, which is crazy. Everglades National Park in Florida is the only place in the world which is home to both the American crocodile and the American alligator. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 14, Florida has more golf courses than any other U.S. state. There are more than 1,250 just in Florida. It's all those old people. Rip currents kill more people in Florida during an average year than hurricanes, tornadoes, and lightning combined. In Florida, it is illegal to confine a pregnant pig to a cage. On a side note, I don't know if you can tell how much I'm sweating. It is hot here today, guys. I'm not complaining because I know when I go back to Ontario, there might be snow, but if you see sweat dripping off my face, go ahead and ignore that. Thank you. Number 17, according to a law in Florida, it is mandatory for all doors to open outward in public buildings. Why? I don't know. Fireworks are totally illegal in Florida, but are sold to ordinary people in huge quantities via hundreds of stores across the state to anyone who signs a waiver saying they're for agricultural use to scare birds away from crops. You can have as much fireworks as you want. The mayor of Lake Worth, Florida, swam across Lake Worth Lagoon in 1998 to raise awareness of how dirty it had become. After completing the swim, he spent three days in hospital and nearly died. The area code of Brevard County, Florida is 321. This is due to the county being the home of the Kennedy Space Center, which is actually really cute. And for some reason that fact makes me really happy. Number 21, the Florida House is the only embassy for a state in Washington, D.C. Gatorade was named for the University of the Florida Gators where it was first developed. The Florida Manatee Sanctuary Act of 78 makes it illegal to disturb the creatures in any way. Violators may face fines up to $500 and be sentenced up to 60 days in jail. Manatees are also protected by the Federal Marine Mammal Protection Act of 72 and the Endangered Species Act of 73. People convicted of violating the federal laws can be sentenced to a fine of $100,000 and a year in jail for upsetting the manatees. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a manatee, but this is what they look like. And they're fabulous. A lot of people call them sea cows because that's basically what they are. They're these big round floaty things and all they do is sleep and eat grass and then sleep again. They're fabulous. I love them. Number 24. In 1982, the Florida Keys seceded from the United States and declared themselves the Contra Republic. The move was to protest the placement of a border-run roadblock in Florida City, which is the main gateway to the island chain. Key West Mayor turned Prime Minister Dennis Wardlow declared war against the United States. The campaign was short-lived. Within two minutes, Wardlow had surrendered and requested one million in foreign aid. Number 25, Florida's lush climate makes it a haven for escaped or introduced non-native plants and animals. The Everglades teem with invasive species, including eight inch long giant snails, eight inch long giant snails, I'll say that again, boa constrictors, two types of pythons, and crocodile-like reptiles called caimans. I remember reading a story actually that, that boa constrictors are a really big problem out here because they were introduced I think maybe as pets or people brought them over and just like they were released into the Everglades. There was no like obvious predator for them. So they just went crazy. So you come to Florida. Yeah, there's crocodiles and there's manatees, but there's also a whole lot of boa constrictors. Wherever you are in Florida, you're never more than 60 miles from the nearest body of salt water. Florida has 7,700 lakes, 
11,000 miles of river and almost 3,000 miles of tidal shoreline and 700 freshwater springs. So when you fly into Florida and you sort of see the landscape, there are so many bodies of water and rivers and lakes and swamps and just a whole lot of water. So those are 26 weird facts about Florida. I hope you learned something new because I did. Now, I thought maybe we'd sort of talk about stereotypes of Florida just really quickly. So I think the common stereotype is Florida is weird and strange and full of meth and old people and um, just kind of wild. I don't know if you guys remember the website, the people of Walmart, and they would post pictures of crazy people in Walmart. Um, I would say maybe 80% of those people were in Florida, to give you an idea. So Florida is crazy. It's crazy, it's wild, it's very different from the rest of the United States. When you think of like, I don't know, New York City or Chicago, and then you think of Orlando. It's just, it's very weird, it's very strange. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. There's some really wonderful people down here in Florida that are actually from Florida. Everybody else we consider snowbirds, which is what my parents are. So it's people from northern states or from Canada that come down to Florida in the wintertime because they can't stand the snow. And let me tell you, it's hot and sunny here in March, and it certainly is not that way in Ontario. So while there is definitely a grain of truth in all the stereotypes of Floridan Floridians, it is still a fascinating state with some really interesting people. I personally love it down here, but I'm a little bit biased because I've spent a lot of time down here. But I just think it's funny and it's strange and it's wonderful. And it's sunny, which I have been severely lacking since living in England for the last four years. <laughs> I miss the sun. So I hope you guys like this video, little snippets of Florida. You know, it's just... Have I said it's strange? It is. But I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching some of my content while I've been down here in Florida. I am going back to Ontario, so I'll have more videos about Ontario in Canada, which I hope you also watch. Please, please watch my videos. I'm desperate. <laughs> If you'd like to see more of my content, I post a full-length video every week on my Patreon account, so you can head over there and support me there, which would be very kind if you'd like to do that. I think that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for visiting Florida with me. To all my subscribers, I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope you're doing well. Between you and me, this coronavirus stuff is kinda blowing up right now. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. Wash your hands. You hear me? Wash your hands. And I will be back in Ontario, fingers crossed, soon. And I will see you there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye! Oh no, my legs are asleep. <laughs> I'm so sweaty and my legs are asleep. Help me.